Yo, what's up, guys, and welcome back to the What's Good podcast with a brand new set again. Jeez, no guest, but we have a new set. You're from the side, man. We are from the set, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, not, not good? I'm from the side, man. You're from the set, eight, man. Set, eight, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm from the set, eight, man. <laughs> we have a new set again. Um, we decided to get a new set. Well, John was whinging that it was too shiny and he couldn't light it. Well, anyone who's good at lighting could have lit it, but you know, for John's sake, we got <laughs> we got a less reflective background with some brick there. The Finally, lights are also not here anymore. The lights are down there. Yeah, yeah. We just turned upside down. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, now the wood lines up properly. It wasn't before how you know it was all wrong. But anyway, fun fact of the day. Yeah. Did you know in Australia, snakes can only move backwards? Cap. No, the way the magnetic N plates no, no, are no, in Australia, cap. they You're go backwards. Lie. I will not believe this. There's no way. Yeah, well, they can't go. That's why they don't eat anyone in. That's why there's, there's snakes in Australia, but they're not dangerous. They, they can only move backwards. Yeah, they can't look at you because they, they can't move what? forwards. Yeah, they only go backwards. It's like when you have a piss in the toilet in Australia. It flushes the other way. Same it's concept. Simpsons episode. Yeah, I've seen the Simpsons episode. About that. Yeah. Not just in general. I've seen one, <laughs> I've seen one Simpsons episode. No, there's I've one. I've seen one where, you know, someone throws a, a 1P off a building and it gets stuck in the guy's head. Oh, yeah. And he, <laughs> in, to greet ladies, he does that. How do snakes his... crawl backwards? No, but it's just, he's saying that in Australia, they only move backwards. Look, how do snakes crawl backwards? It's a lie. Snakes crawl backwards with the same muscle groups as they crawl forwards. Yeah. In, in Australia, they can't move forward because... They're you just made this up. Yeah. <laughs> For fuck's sake. But we're going to start putting some more what's good things on TikTok, so I reckon that'll go viral. <laughs> No, have you not seen Simpsons? Do you watch Simpsons? Not a lot. Well, do I, I do I watch it? Yes. Do I watch it in order? No. Do I watch no, it when I'm having some tea? There's the you episode know, where Bart phones Australia and he says, oh, can you flush your toilet? Which way does it go? All right. And they say it goes the other way around. And then the phone bill costs so much that he then gets sentenced to, to death. court. Oh. He has to go to court in Australia or something like that. Oh, God. Yeah. Something like yeah, and the punishment is the boot where they basically just kick him up the butt right a bit of strange things to do to a <laughs> six-year-old boy i mean yeah the six-year-old how old bot eight ten all oh, right lisa's eight lisa's eight yeah cool anyway in this episode we have many invigorating pog uh, topics don't do this because we don't no we do such as uh the boxing fight recently with vidal okay let's Big talk about v. that hold on then we've got jj went on tour yep jj got ill okay jj Got is, mentioned is having by a having a baby? Lil Uzi Vert. He did actually. That was that was big. Did you think Aiden Ross was kind of like salty a little bit? Which topic do you want to talk about? Oh, All right. <laughs> ooh, ooh, Let's talk ooh. about that straight away. Sure, yeah. Yes, 100%. Yeah. Aiden Ross, the way he goes, oh, what do you think about KSI? And he goes, bro, he's on another level. And he goes, no, 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 no. But he's just, he's an OG though. Like He just started early. Yeah. And then, and then, uh, but then he also tries to bring Logan in. Oh. And he says like, yeah, him and Logan, man. I know, I know. And Lil Uzi Vert doesn't even have it. He just goes, no, no, no. Like JJ... He's like, like, yeah, he's like KSI his accent, the way he dresses, everything. the shit that he's doing. Fair yeah. play. And, uh, I mean, yeah, I, I listen to a lot of Lil Uzi Vert. Yeah? So, yeah. that's fucking sick. Have you seen that video where he's walking through the mall and someone says, hey, hey, can you pay off my Yeah, it happened phone? recently, though. Yeah, no, he did it. Yeah, he paid it yeah, off. Yeah, he paid it off. Oh, yeah, sorry. We spoke about it A together. few months ago. Yeah. Did he? Did yeah, we? yeah, yeah. I think we did. We, he was like, uh, how, how much is college tuition? He's like, 90K? He's like, I can do that. Yeah, yeah I like, can do that. Uh, but once you graduate. Yeah, I want to yeah. see, see your uh, your grades and all that jazz. But yeah, Aiden. I mean, I don't dislike him. I think he's a great creator. There it did just seem weird. It there seemed something about it. I don't know if it was being salty, but this is the way it came across. I didn't have the full context, but there are a lot of creators like that that, that are smashing it right now, aren't they? Like Aiden Ross, um, Speed. Speed. Uh, Speed recently hit five mil subs on finally. YouTube. He, um, he was live streaming and he, <laughs> he basically goes like, this is it, this is the moment. We're about to hit five mil. He gets to 4.999 and then 10,000 people unsub <laughs> instantly. <laughs> yeah. And he gets pissed. Yeah. So then they all sub again. He gets all the way to 4999 again. And they all unsub again. And he does it, I think it's three or four times it happens. What a guy. And now he's on 5.3. So. Yeah. Wow. These guys are going crazy. G Gidon as well. Gideon. Gideon, sorry. Yeah. yeah. He did a video with Pokemane. Yeah. Playing I don't 4D know how I chess. feel about that, you know. He's probably playing chess, isn't he? Not you know. physically in the. No. What, what was my quote? Um. He wasn't playing chess in the video. No, he wasn't playing chess. But I'm saying, you know, <laughs> imagine going through some beef with Pokemane and then you can get a collab with her. Like, why not? Reconcile, you know? True. Well, you know what, Pokemane? I'll beef you. Yeah. Because you saw my emotes in your chat the other day. Prime. No. She saw my... I have a GG emote 
a XIX emote and a Mini Mini Clips emote. Nice. And she read them all and she said, she went, Triple X, M and M, GG. What are these? Hold on, I don't, I don't want to get you banned off Twitch, but I, th- I thought they they stopped doing like letter emotes. Certain ones, yeah. No, it's not going to leave this conversation. I think GG's okay. XX as well is maybe two letters is fine. Yeah. I used to have what did I used to have? I used to have L, I think, or R. Yeah, L's and L's and W's. You can't uh, have. Yeah. yeah, Josh used to have a whole lot. Yeah, no, yeah, Woof. They used to come do Woof in my chat. They used to use one of your W's, one of your O's. Yeah, I, it wasn't mine. It's all your lots. But they used to put Woof, 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 Woof. Yeah, I enjoyed that. Um, but yeah, she 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 slated my emotes. Yeah, can believe it. Can't believe that. And now she's out here eating Chick Fil A with Jiddy on. Yeah, pushing P. I mean, what does P even mean? Pokey. Pushing P. Oh, no, it doesn't mean pokey. Sorry, the way I said that made it seem as if P is for pokey. But no, P Gideon is... DM'd me. Yeah, what did you say? You said, yeah. No, I meant, I meant like, go on. <laughs> Tell me more. Uh, you know when he got banned off Twitch? Yeah. He DM'd me and he said, um, he was like, oh, I'm actually really gutted. I liked watching your reactions to my videos yeah. all, all the time. You used to do a lot, didn't you? I used to, I only found him because my Twitch viewers basically said oh react to Gideon react to Gideon I went I don't know who he is but okay let's watch it yeah watched it found him really jokes um and then started reacting to them and everyone kept telling me to watch his new one mm. and then once someone is banned on Twitch you can't watch them oh so like I can't watch him on stream now right oh, that's a shame I know and then he messaged me and he said yeah bro he, he literally said I was wild I was wild and what's his exact can words he, can he get back on it is he permanently he's permanently banned but well, XQC People been have been permanently banned like and four times, isn't yeah. yeah. Uh, but XQC is a big streamer. I'm not saying Gideon isn't, but Gideon XQC. was still a big streamer as well. Yeah. Uh, speaking about big streamers as well, Josh has been killing it on Twitch. Josh has been smashing like thirty odd k. Yeah. But have you seen what the topics? Like, if you seen what's been happening, so I don't really watch it that much because I don't really care. Yeah, yeah. But I did watch the other night for a couple. I watched. I watched for like an hour and a half or something. Well, guys, he's caught in a love triangle. No, he's not. I watched this two days ago. Yeah. That was his last stream. And he dumped his girlfriend. For? Well, he's been chatting to Valkyrie. Yeah. On but that's not a love triangle anymore. So it's a, it's a line. It's, a lo- it's love. It's a couple. It's a- Josh is dating Valkyrie. <laughs> <laughs> Matt- he is, though. No, that's what... That's what she's what- always in his chat. Yeah, she's in his chat. She's in his DMs on the game. This is what I want to ask you. And obviously I'm saying this with, you know, uh, obviously, do you think it's weird? Do you think it's strange that he's dating someone online? I don't, by the way. I'm preface, preface saying this. Obviously, Josh wouldn't be doing that if Freya wasn't obviously down yeah, for it. Yeah, I mean, I don't yeah. think it's, I don't think it's weird, like to the point of, oh, it's actually, you know, yeah, yeah, it could be a thing. Do I think it's weird at all? I, a little bit if you spend more hours in the game than real life. Yeah, and I think it would be weird if it wasn't like obviously clearly like Josh and Freya would have spoken about it, and she's like, he'd have been like, "Are you cool with, cool with me doing this?" And she'd be like, "Well, yeah, because you know, you're smashing it, and also it's it, I can see why that's fun for the game, you know." Yeah, it'd be weird, wouldn't it? If also, he, if Josh was playing Zerka. Yes. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, Josh playing isn't playing his Tommy himself. T. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but no, I can see how that could get you know strange for certain couples. I bet, I bet you know. Well, uh, what, what was what was the uh, Lana um, Lana Rhodes? And Mike. Yeah, and Mike. They split up because of it. Yeah. So, well, I think there was a lot more reasons. I think that was just an yeah. easy reason to say. But essentially, she was saying on, I think it was Barstool Sports Podcast or whatever, she was saying that the reason, or one of the reasons they split up was because he was spending, he had a girlfriend on, on in GTA. She was like, in GTA, this video game, he had a girlfriend. And I was, I was like, but you know. But he was more simulating the sexual side of their relationship than like Josh does. For right. Example. So Josh is dating this girl. Yeah. Uh, Mike was actually, he seemed very, I think, from what I've heard, seemed more sexually active in the game. Did Lana Rose not literally have sex with other people? Because <laughs> she is a porn star. No, she stopped porn. Oh, she stopped. Okay. She stopped porn right, okay. time ago. Sorry, think, right? sorry for that. Sorry for st- saying that then. But, you know, okay. But she did. In the, okay. I'm in sure the there part. No, I'm, I'm saying, there's, <laughs> I'm, I'm saying, I'm like, I, okay, that would be a weird double standard if she was still, you know. Because he, he, he can say it's just work. And yeah, she can say, well, so is mine. Yeah. And I'm all... <laughs> you, you both seem insecure <laughs> right now. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. The whole situation is kind of weird. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know if I... I don't find it that weird as long as it is... I, I think I only find it weird when you can tell that they're not playing it as a game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If someone's playing a character and they're kind of talking to this girl... It's not weird. Yeah. And also, if you've got like five viewers, it's weird then. 
Nah. Nah, because then, then, like, I mean, like, you know, Josh is clearly, you know, he's playing the game for a, a career. Yeah, someone you... someone might be trying to make a career out of it. <sighs> no, okay, I take back what I just said. <laughs> but you know what I mean? But, you know, but then it's like, are you getting away? Are you, right, are you going away into your studio to play GTA with, say, a fake online girlfriend instead of spending time with me? Because, you know, your, your current girlfriend could be like, look, you're not doing that great on Twitch, you know, at the minute. Spend some time with me, you know? Whereas Josh is saying, you know, well, actually, I'm, do, I'm doing bits right now. So, you know, I'm bringing, you know, I'm bringing stuff to our relationship here. <laughs> it's just weird talking about this because I know, <laughs> I kind of know Josh and Freya, but I'm saying, like, I'm just saying, yeah. well, imagine if it was like a, you know, could it cause issues? I mean, it could. Could, yeah. But it all depends on the relationship. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, it's, it's big news anyway, because Valkyrie is a big creator, Josh is yeah. a big creator, and um, yeah, it means he's just doing bits and bits. Yeah. I mean, 30k is a lot, isn't it? Yeah, 35, I think it hit the other night, which is mental. Mon- monstrous. Um, but yeah, shout out to you and Valkyrie. Hope you have a good life together on the game. <laughs> <laughs> Although, I was watching it the other night, and he logs on, and he's eating sides. Yeah. Shout out sides. Shout out sides. And he's wa- he's just watching clips uh, while he eats. Yeah. So he's he's like parked up somewhere in the game, yeah. and he's just kind of like, okay, I'm just going to eat. Uh, starts watching clips, eating his food, and he gets... Something like twelve phone calls within a minute, yeah. And it's basically someone saying, "Ah, oh, this person's going to diss me. This person wrote a diss track on me. Ah, oh, they're about to run up on the block and shoot everyone." Yeah. He's trying to talk it down, and the whole thing was basically there's the two gangs, and one of them was going to diss one because of what they did to them. Yeah. Like there's a whole load of storyline behind it. Yeah. But it's too long to just explain now. Um, and they were basically all trying to talk it out. And I was thinking, bruh, it's like a, it's a game where you can literally run up on someone and, you know, with a gun and be like, you just diss me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you can fight them. Yeah, true. I was like, I want to see someone get blammed. Yeah. Yeah, like, like do something. Like, yeah. Like hold me back, hold me back. It doesn't really work in the game where you're supposed to kill people. But there are repercussions though. You do go jail. You do go jail. You know? But in real life, mm. you know, when Chip dissed Stormzy yeah. and Stormzy went to his house. Yeah. And like P Money's done loads of songs where he said uh, one of his lyrics I heard yesterday, which actually really reminded me of it, was yeah. he said, "I bang man up for a disc that wasn't even out." Oh wow! And that was the exact scenario that was happening. Mm-hmm. I thought P Money has hit so- or beaten someone up IRL. for a diss track that's not even out in real life. In real life, this scenario. Oh no! no sorry, sorry, no. We don't know he has though. No, we don't know it. If you're watching this, cops. If theoretically his lyrics suggest that there may have been an online circumstance where he beat someone up in a game. Yeah. I think we said that. Yeah, yeah, he's been playing GTA a lot, guys. But this scenario was a diss track that hadn't even come out. Yeah. And I think it was P Money playing himself <laughs> going to beat someone up for it. Hey, P Money. And everyone thought everyone started trying to talk it out. And I went, nah, nah. this is exactly what P Money would do. <laughs> it means war, man. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Go although, to war. Although I did, I did hear, Josh was telling me that. Uh, P Money's gang is the biggest gang on um on the game. Yeah, bigger than Josh's gang. CG. 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 Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna join as Josh's ghostwriter on the game. Right? You're not as though, are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna join. As a okay, re- no, but Randolph joining No Pixel with Zerka. Maybe with Zerka. Yeah. With Tommy T. Tommy T. Sorry, yeah. Sorry if you're watching this with Tommy T. It's not, it's not Josh anymore. Um, <laughs> I'm joking. No, but I, I'm gonna join as a producer slash ghostwriter, right? Who just wants to make music. Okay. But then gets drawn into a life of crime. Okay. That's it. Oh, no. <laughs> you know. Sorry, I got my drink because yeah, I'm so, so I'm, like, oh, <laughs> story. I'm like, oh, Josh, Josh, take me to this. He's like, oh, I'll pick you up from. Well, sorry, Tommy T. Yeah, I'm going to pick you up from Studio Hall. That was. Right, so do a Josh impression. Oh, um, all right, my name's Josh. Now do Tommy T. All right, my name's Josh. <laughs> going to come pick you up, no. What's that? I feel like he, uh, that's his accent. He does like a Yorkshire type accent now and then, doesn't he? No. Oh, does he not? No. Yo, uh, I'm not gonna lie, the Tommy T and Josh accent are very, very similar. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, he, with the O's, it's more like or, or, or. I think, I think he just going to go to the ball. I think he just goes from like talking like this to talking like this. Yeah, it's true. That's yeah. the minor a bit difference. More, a bit more street, yeah. But no, I'll, i will like, I'll Josh pick me up from the studio, and he's like, yeah, sure. And then, but he'll, he'll go to do one of his jobs, and I'm like, Josh, no, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Tommy, Tommy, no, Tommy, no, stop. <laughs> Don't I just want to make music. Don't go into that bot. Yeah, and then two weeks later, I'll be like, what the fuck is up? <laughs> but they don't call me Randino more. They call me Big R. Randy Dog. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, my own crew called the Randy Dogs. <laughs> and when you drive, everyone just has to bark. Yeah. I would, I, you know that game? <laughs> Run right? up on a block, four of you going. I would struggle to role play in that game. I think like, I, I would struggle to show restraint because it's a game of, of like, when I play GTA myself, like, I do what everyone does, you know, drive a car, run over a lady, you know, and <laughs> yeah. just go and shoot people, just for, you know, because it's a game. That's you know? weird, bro. No, no one does that. <laughs> Whereas in like, I reckon like, there'd be like Tommy T or something in a big meeting with someone and I'll just shoot them. <laughs> that's, uh, I'd be like, so Bum. that's what Syndicate, <laughs> Syndicate went in for a day <laughs> and I think he, he instantly was out. Everyone hated him. Yeah, because he would, you know, like the police started going after him and there's like a, a law in the game that the police start going after you, you have a car chase yeah. and you'll either lose them or they'll kind of pin you. You go to jail, you come out, etc. Yeah. And I think he saw the police start going after him. So he just got out a jerry can, started lighting everything <laughs> on fire going, fuck you bastards. <laughs> like we were doing GTA. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just blew up everyone. Yeah. So he literally killed like 30 people. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm also I can't drive in that game either. So like you know how Josh is pretty it's good at more, driving. It's it's different as well in five five M. Someone just shouted something out the window. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's different in the game. In what way? It's more realistic. Yeah, he drives like a real car in like a real in a real way. Yeah. <laughs> like like I'd be doing like a role play thing, going to go pick someone up from the bank, <laughs> <laughs> crash into everything. Like. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, mean, it, it, I think the concept in the is very cool. If you, if you, I think you have to, as a viewer as well, you have to be really into it. You can't yeah. just watch like one stream, then come back a week later. You think you have to live that life. That's why so you get so many views. That's why I think it doesn't do well on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Because it does so well on Twitch because everyone just wants to see it instantly. And you've seen it already. Yeah, but also if I'm watching it, I don't want to sit and like role play. Admittedly, you know, you can go on GTA RP and play for 45 minutes if you wanted to. Yeah. But you normally like, Ever since he started doing it, his streams have got longer and yeah, longer. Yeah. So he, you'll sit and watch him play for six, seven hours or whatever. Yeah. Come back the next day. I'm not going to watch six hours of YouTube. In the where meantime. Where it's not live, yeah. where he's not talking to anyone. Else. Maybe you would watch like, or read Reddit, like read about like the storyline. Someone will, someone will yeah. fill you in what's, happening, what's been happening while I've gone away. Like Big Brother, you wouldn't, I mean, I guess maybe they did didn't be really used to quit it down didn't they but i don't know but uh yeah i think if i joined because I, 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 he's like oh why don't you join i was like well i can't do what you do like on that, that, that amount of time but he says oh you can join for a really short amount of time you don't you can pick your hours in a way you can just do small small storylines but i find like to, to get the most out of it you have to be in there don't you you have to be yeah, all in you need to really learn it all as well yeah. like i wasn't on there for lo i was on there for about three weeks I think. yeah and it was fun i just hated the chat yeah, I, I, I'm not. Yeah, but to be fair, don't they ban backseat gaming now? So like, yeah, because once I went into his chat and I was like, I'll just shoot someone, and they they all were like, No, you can't backseat game. Stop. Yeah. They're like uh, exclamation point backseat. Oh, yeah, sorry guys, but and, and I, I but to be fair, that's why I don't like streaming sometimes anyway. Like I was playing Football Manager and everyone's like, I'll oh, play Pokemon, and then I'm playing Pokemon and then they're like, Oh, I'll play FM. Yeah, I'm chat like, can, right, guys, chat can make or break a stream. I want to play what I want to play. Yeah, chat makes or breaks a stream. Yeah. I mean, I was I was on there for three weeks, and the annoying thing for me was obviously Josh had been doing it for ages, so yeah. everyone really liked yeah. the gangster side of it. Well, your character wasn't a gangster, was he? No, I think maybe you should have made him a gangster. But then I'm just doing the same thing. Yeah, but yeah, but like I wanted to try and do like a. I'm not saying I'm a gangster, but I wanted to try and be more of like a character yeah. where it's not. I felt like there's a lot of gangsters in GTA. That's the point. Yeah, you're a, you're a gangster or a cop. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I wanted to try and do something a bit different. So I went for like this absolutely moist weirdo <laughs> who's never seen a girl in his life. Yeah. But don't Myself. You think... <laughs> what? Um... No. <laughs> You've seen two girls at least. <laughs> what, my mum and Tali? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks. It's all right. But it, it made content that was really funny, but then people started saying, okay, like do now go do a, like a, do a bank job or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But to be fair, that, that isn't that GTA. GTA is the gangster life, isn't it? Yeah. Like... But like the content I had, like I, I went on a date with... A girl in it. Valkyrie? No. Um, although, it is one of the girls that he was in the love triangle with. Ooh. Who? Yeah. Carmella. I don't know that one. But oh, Lana. I think that's the one I knew. Was, who, that was the girlfriend. Oh. Uh, but then... Oh, look um, at Lana. Tommy T moved on. <laughs> but it was so, like, it was jokes and it ended up... I think the last time I played it, I was on the date with... That was the last episode I did. And we went on a bike ride on the mountain. Yeah, but we we didn't see that there was a jump, so we accidentally went over the jump <laughs> and ended the date by all of us dying. <laughs> <laughs> that is probably the worst way to end a date to die. You know? Yeah. Well, yeah. we're unconscious. 
forever. Um, <laughs> are you still no, so are you currently in, we you, were all. Are you in a coma right now? No, because we were all lying on the mountain, and you have to wait for mountain support to come on. <laughs> but if no one's on, you have to just wait, or you can reset. But then you have to pretend that the last like four didn't hours happen. didn't happen. Yeah, and I mean I can't bother to do that because no. that's my content. Yeah, I'm just dead. So I, <laughs> yeah, so I, I lied. I just lay there for yeah. hours. So I started streaming something else and just left the game open. Why don't you go back in as a new character? Why, why don't me and I just don't like the chat. Why don't me and you join in as a, a rap duo? Okay, is that it? Yeah. What's our backstory? We love music. <laughs> 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 we could put Randy in. We could put Minimin to Randy. In there as musicians. Mm, I'm trying to think of a different name instead of Mini Minter. Yeah. What Young Money Mint. Yeah. Mon Young Money Mint. Money Mint. Money Mint. Money Mint and Randy Dog. Yeah, Randy Dog. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and we go it. in and all we do is diss everyone. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, we I'll meet someone, we're like, oh, hi, what's your name? P Money. All right, cool. Next day we have a song <laughs> dissing. <him>. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll write music for Josh for his Tommy T <laughs> and I'll just diss him. <laughs> I'm like, I wrote your song, bitch. <laughs> That's why it's better. You're Tommy T, but now I'm making cheddar. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, thanks. But there is someone called Randy in there, so. Yeah, I know. I'll kill them. <laughs> in, the in the game. In the game. In the game. Anyway, shout out Josh. Um, I'll kill him. <laughs> shout out Josh and, uh, and, and Valkyrie. In the, no, what's her, what's her character name? Raymond. Raymond. That's quite similar to her. What? So she's a bloke? No. That would be a real twist. It's something like that. Tommy T dating and a bloke. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it would be. Anyway, yeah, shout out to them, man. But yeah. Uh, also. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> shout out to Tommy T and Raymond. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's that anyway. Yeah, sure. Something to do with Ray. Well, yeah. Um, what were we talking about before? We were talking about Gideon. Gideon. And then um, Pokemon. Yeah. Well, there's uh, there's been... Oh, we're talking about K yeah, Aiden Ross, Aiden Ross, and and KSI. Speaking of KSI, Tor went to his show on on Saturday night. Yeah. Oh yeah. In Nottingham. Not Nottingham. That was sick. Yeah. And uh, you performed. Re re yeah, really loved it. Beerus. Beerus. Yeah. So we had a, there was a guy called Nathan. JJ asked. I wasn't on the stage yet. JJ asked people to come on stage if they can do the Beerus. fast bit on Beerus. Yeah. So a few people went on. People who couldn't do it. One guy was called Nathan. He he said to JJ, "If I can do it, can I perform the song with you on stage?" Um. And we were supposed to do, it was supposed to be Madness and then Virus, but he came on stage, killed the verse, so then he was going to perform with us, and then, so we did Virus next, and it was sick. But it was, obviously, I like, I'm not going to my place, isn't it? So it, it was, we, we performed there two years ago, but this time, same venue, same room, but it was packed out this time, completely full. It was crazy, like the balcony, everything was full, and it was just sick. It was really good. Nice. There's a guy who went through the Forest Away game recently, and he kind of went viral on Forest Twitter a little bit because he got a, he took a Bose speaker into the away game, a big speaker like this, and yeah. was playing all the you know all the songs that the crowd sing. Yeah. He was playing the music for them, and everyone was going. So he's been he's become the the, the Bose boy on Twitter type thing. <laughs> and he was front row at the show. Did he was have a speaker. No, unfortunately oh. not. Rock City didn't allow that. Ironically, seems so, like he could have played Beerus. Yeah, that would have been sick. <laughs> yeah, and he was like, "Look, this is me." So I was like, "Oh, you're a legend." And I threw my hat in. And I was hoping, like, you know, like, you know, usually I was like, uh, I'll throw my hat into the crowd because the forest hat, obviously, that's why I did it, not because I'm a weirdo. And I was like, oh, I hope, you know, someone will tweet me or Instagram me. And yeah. then no one did. <laughs> so now I know what's the point now. I could have kept my hat. <laughs> you know, a hat's probably in a bin outside. Probably, yeah. Someone probably dodged. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that that smelly hat. Sweaty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the plan was to, um, the plan was to throw my hat in, go back to stage again and get the hat out of my bag to continue wearing it for the rest of the evening. But then uh, Dan took my bag into the car. So I got backstage and I was like, oh, where's my bag? And it got taken. So obviously for me, I had to wear no hat, which is sad for a little bit. <laughs> um, but yeah, shout out JJ. He got ill then, you know. It was too fair. Is that the last performance he did? Yeah, he was kind of ill a little bit before the Nottingham show as well. He was like, why am I always ill? And he, he was like, um, kind of, you could tell a little bit illy. So I was, I, I, when I saw his tweet, I wasn't surprised that he couldn't do the next show because he was, yeah, fucked. Yeah, because he cancelled Manchester. Yeah. Manchester. Um, which, he's cancelled quite a few shows now. He just which, gets ill on the road, you know. Like, yeah. And, and I, it's weird because I see, I was reading some of the replies and some people were really angry that he did it so late before the show and also that he just cancelled so many shows. But I can attest that he, he is ill. Oh, no, 100%. Yeah, like, I mean, maybe some artists do have, like, scheduling conflicts or sometimes they just can't be arsed and they do cancel shows, but, I, like, he loves performing. He just does love it. Um, and he would definitely do a show if he could. I just don't know how it hasn't been seen that he gets 
ill a lot during these like yeah. periods. Whenever he has a tour, he always seems to he be gets, ill. Well, it makes sense because he's going to see so many different people, so many different towns that like you know you're going from one place to the other place to the other place. Like not even on a COVID like t- thing, just in general, you're gonna you're gonna pick up germs, aren't you? Yeah. So it's hard, or maybe maybe there's ways he can. I just don't know why the schedule hasn't been, you know, like two shows couple days off yeah. two shows a couple days off maybe it has been like I don't know how this one's been no, this I, one's I, been pretty I much really. every day I think he had like one day off or something well, maybe, yeah, maybe, yeah. Mm. maybe they try and do it so quick don't they so you can get back to other stuff but then that then in the tour it gets cancelled yeah but no he loves performing he definitely wouldn't cancel if he didn't have to and he, as you know when he gets ill he gets really ill yeah like it's not like a sniffly nose he's like in bed coughing and like yeah it's gross um, <laughs> but yeah I hope he gets better he, he, as, he, as you can see he's stopped drinking he has stopped drinking. He's like 13 days sober now. Yeah. I m- I'll mention on the podcast as well, because why not? He uh, offered me some money if he Didn't doesn't drink. Yeah. But as I spoke to you, and as I've, I've already told him, by the way, once he pays me the money, I'm going to give it him straight back as a reward for not drinking. So I don't want him, to, you know, you don't have to give me money to not drink. Yeah. <laughs> if, it, if it can help motivate you, then sure, but I'm going to give it you back. <laughs> um, you know, you've done enough for me. Don't <laughs> you don't pay me. Anyway, but what, so here's, what he said to me was, if I don't drink, if I get to February 26th without drinking, I'll give you 10 grand. And I was like, no, that makes no sense. No. Wait, you know, he, he thought, said that. He said that. And he doesn't mean the other way around. I thought it would be if he drinks, he gives me 10 grand, which yeah. makes sense then. Because, you know, you're going to drink. And he's like, well, now I won't because I'm going to lose 10 grand. Yeah. But it's if he doesn't drink, he'll give me 10 grand. Do you have this in writing? Yeah, on, on WhatsApp. <laughs> Gen- if he agreement. doesn't drink till the 26th so yeah. after his Wembley show yeah he'll give you 10 grand yeah <laughs> but keep in mind what? Right? Keep why in mind, doesn't he make these deals with me <laughs> yeah I know I know I know keep in mind I'm not even on tour that doesn't make any sense no so him achieving something that he wanted to do costs him money yeah he's weird like that isn't he though that's like me saying like oh if I manage to work out every day this week I'll give you 10 yeah grand. yeah when it should be, if you if I don't work, yeah, yeah, if you miss a day, then you give me, t- you know. But anyway, I'm not going to accept it, obviously, but, you know, whack that in a clip, Nick. No, you got you got to take it, like, just to make sure he pays you. Give it back, but you've got to make sure he pays you. Yeah. Just to just so he knows what he's done. Yeah. And then you give it back to him. Yeah, yeah. I will say, though, like, it's very good for JJ to stop drinking because, like, it's healthy to do that. But I don't want to think he's got, like, an... It's, it's never. It's not. It's not an alcohol problem. No, no, no. He, just, he, really he did make anyway. it sound like that. Yeah, it? Like, I, oh, I saw t- people on Instagram were like uh, on Twitter. They were like, "Oh man, you know." Uh, I think someone offered him a drink in the recent Saban video, the cube one, which we'll get onto. And they were like, "Oh, I can't believe they're offering like peer pressure him into drinking." And number one, that was a while ago anyway, before he did this. And two, it's not like he's got a drinking problem. It's just when he, you know, I think after a show he'll go, he'll drink to celebrate. Yeah. And he's like, "Well, I probably shouldn't do that," which is true. But yeah, shout out to him though, because it's the healthy thing to do. But best believe I'm not doing it. <laughs> Well, we're going to Vegas soon. Yeah. Um, and he has said he wants to go uh, sober for the whole of yeah, Vegas. Yeah, which, you know, which... if you want to do that, go for it. But he put in the chat, let's all have a dry Vegas. He's now peer pressuring us not to drink. Exactly. And that's even worse. And we don't like <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then, and then as looks rightly said into the chat, shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> because it looks his birthday, man. But anyway, no, I can't think of any, any worse place to go than Vegas to not drink. Miami Ultra. Okay, maybe. <laughs> Tomorrowland. <laughs> Tomorrowland. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. If I go Tomorrowland without alcohol, but no, but no. Honestly, fair play. You don't drink in Vegas, but we ain't do. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Bro, you're about to be a dad. And I was like, yeah, I gotta go one one last blowout. You know. Yeah, hundred percent. When I say blowout, I don't mean to go and blow people. No one thought you did. All oh, right, okay, just clear that up. No, no one. Now nah, I'm gonna just go there and you know gamble a bit. I want to sit there with a little alcoholic beverage oh, the t- the on r- the slots. Yeah. Oh, oh, a, w- a weak alcoholic beverage because they don't put alcohol in them. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but feel like it's alcohol. You know, so <laughs> I think oh, I'm getting a good deal when yeah. I pay 50 cents for <laughs> a drink. Well, it's free, isn't it? But you have to tip. Yeah. You don't have to, but it's good to tip, yeah. obviously, because they're working for essentially nothing. But anyway, um, what they do is they go, they let people buy bottles at the club the night before, right? And then when they're all empty, they get the bottle then and pour whatever's left in it like a drop. <laughs> and that's your alcohol. <laughs> I thought I was funny and then it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Bro really thought he did something. <laughs> I thought I did something, man. Uh, essentially, the joke is they give, they give you a drip of alcohol. <laughs> but yeah, no. Thanks for that. Sorry, JJ, for getting ill. Congrats on not drinking. And no, we're not drinking. We're not quitting in Vegas. Yeah, and congrats on the little Easy Vert collab coming yeah, soon. Yeah, yeah. And congrats on the baby as well. My video bang, so... Oh, yeah, KSI is pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> he's not. I'm just joking. Um, Sabin Sunday? Yesterday's Sunday? Yes, yeah, so... 
Yesterday's Sidemen Sunday was the cube. The Sidemen, the cube. Um, I'll tell you right now, out of 10, yep. the video is... Sorry. That's my channel. <laughs> oh, wow. Just, you know, just, number, number one. Just looking at... No, it was a four out of 10, my one. Solid green. We'll talk about that in a second as well. Sure. Sidemen video is... Brrr, six out of 10. I think that's really solid. That's very solid. But the fact that everyone thought this was going to be like a stinker. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Everyone came back from this and said yeah. it is a stinker. Well, JJ Nottingham said that he, the edit came out better than he thought it would have would have done. And I, I watched a bit of it yesterday because... Well, I watched a bit of it and then turned it off because I was too embarrassed to watch the rest. I was so drunk in this one. Without Josh, Simon and Vic there, it just turns into a drunken mess. We were saying on the day there that this is the wor you are the worst three to leave that video. Why? Because you're the responsible ones. What about Toby? Toby's responsible as well. But he doesn't drink, so like he he, he you know, I don't know he he, he didn't stop us, <laughs> he didn't stop us. Um, so, so this was we had that week uh, yeah. a couple of weeks ago, yeah, where uh, we had three shoots in three days, and Family Feud was the first one. Me and Vic missed it because of COVID. Then the second day was Twenty V One, the Calyx one that turned out last week. Me, Josh, and Vic all missed it, and then we had this Cube video where the same three missed it again. That's the last video we're all missing. Yeah. Although saying that, the next video we're filming, I think KSI might not be in it. Mm. We'll we'll see. We'll see. I, I don't think he is. I think he is at a show. So yeah. Spoiler alert! There you go. <laughs> um. But yeah, how was this? Because we, when we saw this originally, we thought this would be sick. Yeah. And then obviously you guys all came back and kind of said, "Oh, well, might not be amazing." So. Yeah, so obviously, Cube Experience, I got on the train, and so just to clarify as well, I'm not sure if you just said the order, you might have then, but it was it was Family Feud. 20 v one No, no. no in, oh, no, it was Family in, Feud, yeah. The Cube. Then 20 v one Because yeah. 21 v one was such a banger, that posted first. No, then, it's because it was Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, yeah. so we posted that, or well, you posted that, and then so th this was on the first day we found out that Josh didn't have had COVID as well. Yeah. So I got onto the train knowing that you had COVID, knowing that Vic had it, and also, but then I didn't know there was no Josh there. And they were everyone was like, "Well, what, it, we have to get a train." You know, it wasn't like um, driving there or a shoot somewhere else. Maybe we'll rethink it. Maybe we'll cancel it. Whatever. You ha we had to, we had to get on the train. Yeah. So everyone just turned up, and then on the train, everyone's like, "Well, what do we do here?" Because you know, it's a cube. Half of you aren't there. Blah 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 blah. Uh, luckily, I was going anyway, so that was probably good actually because you didn't have to. Um, you know, it wasn't th then at least you got someone else in it. It wasn't just the, th the four of you. Um, but yeah, it was, it, we got there. It was a bit weird, really, because the, the setup was kind of strange. I'm not sure if John has, you know, that same thought as well. It just felt really weird, like the way it was shot and stuff. Because, for example, we were getting shot. Um, not, not that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I get we're you. We were getting shot. And, and they kept saying, oh, squeeze in, squeeze in. So me and Ethan kept saying, well, what if this was the Cybermen boys? You'd be fucked. Yeah. There's only, there's only like the four yeah. of us. They did all say that, that, you know, if, if there were more of us, we would have been finished. Yeah, I don't know how you would have shot this. And like, for example, we're trying to react to the people in the cube. We can't see the cube because there's people sh filming it. You know, we had some Go GoPro GoPros in the cube itself. But no, it was, once we started drinking, it got much better. I'm not sure if that was the content got better or if we just had more fun. Yeah, if you thought it was better. <laughs> yeah. JJ and Toby not drinking. Me, Ethan and Harry just drinking a lot. Um, so I haven't actually seen the video yet. You never probably wrecked it, right? Yeah. I'll yeah. probably watch it on stream. Yeah, nice. No. But like, how how was it compared to a normal Sidemen sheet? It, it, it felt like there was no organization. Yeah, it felt like no organization. And usually Sidemen sheets are pretty well organized, aren't they? You know, you got this, got that. This one kind of seemed like, right, put the i mean even the when even when they were showing us what to do in the cube they were like we had no idea we had no idea which, which from the intro it was just it felt like a mess really wasn't it it was like literally just put a camera up here and just do the games so we were like well i don't know what to do then so <laughs> the first two games were so easy as well really easy the one where it's pathfinder you'll see it on the thing you have to get from one side of the cube to the other yeah like the cubes were massive it's just so easy i mean i failed on one but it was so easy <laughs> <laughs> um the one where you, th you throw a little metal ball through a hoop and then it drops in a cube. We all passed that. We all we all had a go, even off camera, and we all got it in. It was very Mad. easy. Um, so it felt too easy. So we yeah, we started drinking, and then it got much funnier. But it, I think it was funny because of the mayhem as well, because we had no idea what to do. We just, just bantered around. Um, you'll tell in the video there's a lot of cutaways. So it's half of the video is probably not even the cube. 
half the video is probably just you know harry and ethan arguing um me harry and ethan drinking at the bar then there's a shot where we're just eating food <laughs> like it's just <laughs> it felt more like a like a vlog maybe um but no it, i think it because we had the drinks because it there's arguments and stuff it became funny Stephen tries obviously did a really good job always to, yeah to just kind of keep it going very witty very fun very quick with it um yeah it was so perfect as well because he lives in manchester and this whole thing's obviously in manchester yeah really worked out well i will i really wanted to do this for a main channel video now yeah to be like can i beat the side men at that'd the be cube? really good to do that but i can't do it the only date i can do it is like the 4th of march and i think that's probably too late by then yeah that's a couple of weeks nah, after. I, I, I think it would do well anyway. Would you do it the main channel? Yeah. I think it would do well on standalone, you know. And the fact that, you know, so it's, if you did it on your own, it would do well still. And also you whack Sidemen in there, you know, kind of beat Sidemen. I think that's like a evergreen. It's just like if video. I could have posted this, you know, this week. Uh, that'd be really good. Banger. Banger, yeah. Um, we also filmed a more Sidemen video. Yeah. Have you seen it yet? No. But basically they played uh, mini golf and again. Oh, go back. Sorry. Literally stay there. Go back like literally 10, 15 seconds. The other way. Oh, you're doing it. Yeah, nice, nice. Watch my drink. It's about 0.1 What, <laughs> the glide? Yeah, it moves. But I, I saw everyone on my Twitter, like, how the hell did this move? But it's, <laughs> it, there's a, obviously, there's a hill. A little, little. <laughs> <laughs> there's a little slope. Um, um, but yeah, sorry. The mini golf video. Yeah. Again, you guys were all talking about this one being a bit questionable. And then there was a message in the chat that said, um, like, mini mentor do we record mini golf sorry can we move this off screen it's i'm getting really distracted that's all good <laughs> um yeah it said like mini mentor do we record mini golf and i said i mean ultimately it's our channel i'm not yeah, yeah. even if i take second channel or whatever it's our channel if yeah. you guys want to do it do it mm. if not don't and then i think harry said i'll do it so i think everyone ended up doing it yep <laughs> and then afterwards he said it was one of the worst videos we've ever done. It it can't be saved. Hopefully, Chip Fat can save it. Well, he tweeted yesterday. Who Chip Fat? Yeah, in the video, I think Ethan says, "This is the worst video we've ever filmed," and it's just a black screen. And then Chip Fat goes, "I wish he was joking." In like text. Yeah. Where's that going up? I don't know yet. I think. What day is it today? Monday. Monday. Maybe tomorrow. Wow. Okay. Oh, it's Tuesday. It's a Tuesday or Thursday, but. Um, I couldn't. It watch. also didn't help that there's a shot where I think Toby's taking a shot. There's a camera in front of him. That footage is not there. Right. So <laughs> it, it is genuinely one of the worst videos. Yeah, because I, I was saying, but it might be funny because it's you know, it's and a mess. we're drunk. Yeah. yeah. Again, drunk just works, doesn't it? Sometimes. Yeah. But I can't even remember filming that barely. <laughs> um, and I was embarrassed watching that silent video. So I don't know what is going to happen with this mini golf video. Oh God. But what I do know is that I said, oh, it's not that bad. But then John was saying like, in terms of filming it as well, it was really, it was a struggle to film it. Um, tight, space. tight space, different holes each time. We had to carry a little light around with us. To, so I'm excited to see it, but it could be again, like you say, because of the mayhem, it could be good. Like I guess the helmet game, you know, you didn't think that was going to do too well, but it, it did well, didn't it? So yeah, really well. Yeah. Look out for Randy's outro on the mini golf. Randy's outro on the mini golf. <laughs> Okay, Randy has no idea. So all I know is, all I know is, that I got a hole in one, and I still come last. I don't know how that's possible. I literally got a hole in one. That's like the best thing you can ever do in golf. Um, there's a point here about that video. It says Ethan and JJ kissing through the screen. Oh yeah. So what happened there? It's in the cube. Obviously, it's like glass, isn't it? Yeah. Ethan's like on the on the on the glass like this. Then I go up and like to match him and blow him a kiss like this. And then JJ goes on. I'm like, our day to kiss him. And they actually just like start kissing. Yeah. <laughs> through, through the glass. <laughs> through the glass. John, you know that video, you know where we did like the Sue at the end? To, and we got the 360 camera. Is that, where's the footage of that? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Because you know what, you know on the queue where they do like the 360 shot? Yeah. So we all, we all jumped up and then I couldn't, I, I'm, I didn't get in much air. <laughs> <laughs> so they were like, Granny, you can jump in a while. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, it's just uh, it's so embarrassing, but it was funny. Okay. Um, well, yeah, that Simon video is doing well. Doing pretty decent. Six out of ten is solid for that video. Very solid. Yeah. Yeah, the next one, I mean, we've just heard that COVID restrictions are being lifted, which yeah. we'll talk about. Yeah. But that should hopefully mean we can fully get back to 
sign oh, yeah. videos. Whatever video you want. Yeah. I'm sure maybe abroad stuff has got some certain rules to yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. But yeah. Essentially, in the UK now, apparently, according to Thursday... Well, sorry, not according to Thursday. <laughs> Thursday told us. <laughs> according to Boris Johnson, on Thursday, if you have po- uh, tested positive, you don't have to legally self-isolate. Yeah, I think, obviously, if you do test positive, I'd yeah, still... Don't go around kissing everyone. No. No. But the fact that you now don't have to... Legally, yeah. So if, you, if you've got something really urgent you need to do, and, and you know, if you take precaution and stuff, it might be okay. But we'll see. I mean, one would think it would just start making cases go crazy again. But because we have got the vaccines now then it seems like it's much... I mean, you had COVID and was fine. I think, yeah. I think, obviously, I don't know really stats on that, but in terms of people I know who've had COVID recently, it's all been very tame. Yeah. And not like Josh had it, where it was really, really crazy. Yeah, I mean, Josh had it again and was... Yeah. He was all right. Like, he had a bit of a bit of a cough, bit of a sore throat yeah. for a day or so. Yeah. Um, obviously, Queen Liz got, got the COVID, so... You know, Shout out, Lizzie. Shout out, Lizzie. Sticking in there. Hopefully, you're good. Yep. Text you later. <laughs> Um, well, Sick. on a completely unrelated note, yeah, uh, you've started a new channel. Oh yeah, you created Randall Fods. <laughs> yeah, but that's now gone. Yeah, I changed the name to Clips now. <laughs> I'm very impulsive with what I do on my channels. I change my mind so quick. It's not really. I mean, it's got like a, a, a grand subs, a thousand subs. It isn't doing that well. Um, oh wow, Justin Bieber got COVID the same day as Queen Liz. Queen Elizabeth and Justin Bieber both tested positive for COVID. Her risk is roughly 340 times greater. Yeah, because she's probably like 340 times older than he is. <laughs> oh, my God. No, not, not in disrespect to the Queen, but it's clearly different, you know. There's a, there's, a, there's a risk of, like, you know, her walking. You know, it's risky more for her to walk than it is for him, you know. Um, no, so, what was I chatting about? My channel, yeah. So I, yeah, I created Randolph Vods because I, essentially my Pokemon channel just died because I was doing really well in January. It was the biggest channel, biggest month I had on my Pokemon channel for a year. And so I was really happy with that. With me and my editor were grinding on it, grinding the channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we didn't think so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so anyway, um, you two going really well. Posted the new Pokemon playthrough, Pokemon Legends Arceus, which I enjoyed the game, but it's really hard. You've done a playthrough on it. It's really hard because it doesn't really two hours. Two hours. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not like a. It's an open world game, so you can kind of do anything. So how do you make it per episode? I don't really know. So I struggled. I didn't enjoy playing it on camera or on stream. I enjoyed just playing it my own time. So anyway, it wasn't doing that. very well. It was really like... People always say, oh, post what you want. Don't care about the views. But on YouTube, your channel can die if you post crap. Yeah. So, And I'm not saying it's crap to everyone. And it's people are like, oh, don't quit the playthrough. You've got 10,000 people watching it. I'm like, yeah, but 50,000 watch my Pokemon trading card videos. So if I'm now posting 10K, 10K, 10K... It's going to kill my channel, and it did. Yeah. So then I posted my next Pokemon trading card video, and when it was getting 40, 50K, it was getting like 15. So I was like, wow, this has just killed my channel. So I thought, you know what, let's make a VOD, let's stream the gameplay on Twitch, and then just post the VOD onto a different channel. So those who still want to watch me play it and still want to watch the playthrough can watch it. If you want to watch it that bad, you can find the channel. I'll, I'll show you the channel, I'll promote the channel. Um, but then as well, I was like, no one wants to watch four hours of me playing Pokemon, so I've changed it to clips now. Do what you do. Sorry, right, I just keep copying you. That's all right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's working. So. Yeah, you, you paved the way. <laughs> yeah, Randolph Clips. I just copy everyone else. That's yeah. Fine. But if you want to help me, guys, please go to my Pokemon channel and just watch my videos. <laughs> In the background, just leave a like <laughs> and, and dip, you know. But um, no, that was one of the best videos I did. It went really viral. One million views. Yeah, it's not on there, Nick. Don't worry. You don't have to show it. It's fine. You show, show it as a screenshot after the podcast. But yeah, new channel. How are your channels going? Good. My main channel I posted again, got that Prime video. Was that the 4 out of 10? Yeah. So it was originally a second channel video. Yeah. And then because the title was good and the shots were like so clean Mm. in terms of hitting the balls. um, So I'll get edited as a main channel. Yep. And if it's good enough, it'll go up. And it was. Yeah. And now 4 out of 10. So, you know, sure, a 4 out of 10 main channel is better than a... Well, I mean, the Prime review one I did. Yeah. That banged. I was originally going to make that second channel and... Yeah, you're you're starting to learn. I think you used to do a lot of second channel videos that could be main channel. Yeah, it's also just a thing of do I actually care that much? Anymore? No, you don't. No, no. Yeah. Post it and look away. So I'm at nine point nine one two right now. Nice. So I need about eighty. Oh, I think I, I think it's like eighty five k subs. If you got a plan for the big ten million, no, just just gonna live I have life. No idea what to do okay. for it. Okay. But I was at the Brits a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. With Dan Rhodes. Yeah. Magician. Yeah. Oh yeah. I hit 9.9 that day. He hit 9.7. He went, oh, let's have a race to 10 mil. He hit it yesterday. I've gained about 12k subs. <laughs> oh, man. So he's getting 300k subs. I've gained 12. Shorts, is it? 
Yeah. Shorts, yeah. But he's killing it. He's killing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, and for he, sure. he had a part. <laughs> for shorts. He's killing it. He had a. Uh, I, was just, I couldn't even reach you. I was like, <laughs> clearly it's not real. No, I'm not falling for no, it again. No, no, no. But you can reach. Yes. <laughs> that's a stretch a little bit. Uh, he's killing it, but he posted a story of him. He had like a party for it. And he messaged me because he said, oh, I bet you a beer for it, kind of thing. He said, you owe me a beer. And I went, fuck off. <laughs> uh, but then he had a party and he said, oh, are you going to have a party when you hit it? And I was just like, no, I no. think I think I'll just be you know, happy that I've done it yeah. finally because it's, just... it's been a grind. Yeah. Did, maybe, did, maybe you can do like a stream for it or something. Yeah, but I also keep Twitch stuff to yeah, Twitch true. and YouTube to YouTube. And then, yeah, he said, oh, what are you going to do for it then? I have no answer. You should do... I know, I know it's still Twitch, but you could do Twitch then into Minimeter Clips. You should do reacting to one video for each million subscriber you had. If that makes sense. So 10 videos. Yeah, so you react to 10 videos in one video, but each video has to be under the certain mil you had. Ah, uh, okay. So where was I before one mil? Where was I before two mil? It's probably a lot of effort, but... Yeah. CBA. Yeah, same. I want to do something for it. I just don't know what. Yeah. Skydive? Didn't you do that already? Yeah. Skydive at the 10 same times. <laughs> Well, at the same time, so that's yeah, that's like eighty five k away. My second channel is fourteen k away from five mil. Ooh. So they could hit the same period. No, nice. And so then, then, then I've got two channels like ten and a five. Yeah, yeah. Which is sick. Yeah. And again, no idea what to do for it. More side man, you're on, a, on no, the run for ten. Mm seven. No, no, but you're on, in more side man. You're on the run, run for ten, aren't you? Yeah. You're a long way away. But I think that's slowly. The dream is slowly dying with that. Got you. Because we don't subs have kind of just like. Eh. Well, it's same with this podcast, point, isn't 6. it? 6.2. Yeah, although you guys have been smashing this podcast recently in terms of subscribers. Let's keep that up. <laughs> we hit 730k we've yeah, hit. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Shout out to everyone. Shout out to Bez. I think Bez really give it a big boost, you know? Yeah. Shout out to Ethan Bezinger. You know what? Sub- uh, it's too late in the podcast. Remind us next time. Yeah. Next time we need to start the podcast with all oh, you little pricks. Yeah, subscribe. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, you know, more side men. To get that to 10 mil, you know what you, you got to do? Mario Kart. Yeah. That wasn't what you were gonna say, was it? Fuck off! <laughs> My watch keeps. I've even put it on Do Not Disturb. What do we need to do? Hajingo Part Two. Really? I had so much fun that day. That was really fun. I want to organize more stuff like that, but everyone's schedule is impossible. Like sure. I want to organize for fun. You mean? Uh, both. Or for I want to do more stuff for fun with everyone, but that's that's troops. More side men. I want to go. Let's go play top golf. Well, surely just, if it's for a video. There is no schedule. I can show you the schedule, and we have. Like two days booked in for the next two months for more Sidemen. Do the videos like Hajingo do many more views than it normally would do on a more Sidemen video? Some. Okay. Some go, you know, to the moon and do five to eight mil. Yeah. Some do two and a half mil, two mil, and then a Quiplash video might get two and a half mil. Yeah. And Flip. in which case, you know, we've all sat at home. Quiplash is way quicker. Yeah. Well, what, what you got to do? Go into the analytics. Did I say it right? Yep. Great. Sometimes I get I get it wrong. Go into the analytics and go, look, here's Hajingo. This made you X amount of money, guys. Like, let me look how much. Yeah, but then they'll just find a GTA video that's earned more. <sighs> but they say, plus you had a good time drinking with your mates. Yeah, they'll go, I enjoy GTA. I thought like we've got a lot of stuff booked in March, you know, as friends. We have like three things. Yeah. Do we even have three things? We have a holiday. Holiday, the meal, and the and show. The we have a show? We're going to see... Um, Oh, oh yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I get you. Damn. Um, Busy boys. What was I looking up? Hi Jingo. Oh, what a great flipping video that was. It was two videos. Yeah. So we've already done a part two. Fuck. Part two, two point nine mil, which isn't actually that amazing. No, but the first one. Part one, six point seven mil. That's decent. That's very decent for a second channel. Yeah. But GTA from three days ago, two point three. We played Ready or Not. Oh, wow. We played Ready or Not. 2.5. It's that one where Ethan kills a civilian. Yeah. <laughs> but that, again, that video stunk and it's picked up. Picked up, yeah. But then every Among Us video, 5 mil. Yeah, Among Us is elite. Such a, especially with the Aussies. So it's hard to justify going to do real life stuff when the Among Us and GTAs do as well as it. Yeah. It must be hard, man. Um, I'm, not, are... I'm not saying it's hard. No, no, like, no, I'm no. not complaining. This isn't a thing. No, but... no. I was just making a joke saying, like, oh, man, our videos are doing too well. <laughs> no. Can't bother to go out. But it's, it's yeah, it's a thing of it, it, the schedules are so busy trying to get all seven people to because I, I wanted to start doing a thing of okay we'll go do top golf flight club toka toka we'll go do we'll go to the snow dome mm. we'll go to the 
wave place where everyone goes surfing. Yeah. I actually had that one booked. Oh, wow. And kept getting cancelled because a few schedules. people got busy. Yeah, too yeah, busy. Yeah. And I guess it's easier, to, I'm not trying to, it's easier to cancel a second channel video, isn't it, than a main yeah. channel? Yeah. Everyone yeah, kind of does disrespects the second channel. <laughs> Although that, I guess the golfing was quite, I mean, obviously it turned out to be awful because alcohol maybe, but you should do more things like that though where you can combine. No, but that's what we always do. But the most recent videos we've done, like the 20 v one, we would normally have done a video there. Yeah, true. But there was three people missing. Got you, yeah. Family feud. Uh, studio shoots, we would normally try and tag on. Yeah. Like a do the side men think the same, that kind of video. Mm -mm. But. I feel like I haven't seen many, as many of those ever. Because we haven't had. Right, yeah. Because if I go on, can you go on the side men channel quick and pull up like our most recent videos? More side men or? No, main, side main men. Main, main channel. Because we, we try and tag on whatever video we can to yeah. the shoot. So if you go on videos here. Uh, you have to ignore those first three because half of us were missing. Yeah. So the Lamborghini one, we did the uh, helmet game. Oh, right. Got you. Yeah. The yeah. drink one color. Yeah. Uh, everyone was peppered by the end of it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Hide and seek. We got a second round. Yeah. Next one's a montage. So we didn't do anything. Ones like that don't work because we're split up. Yeah. The fair. next one. Christmas mukbang. We did a second channel there. Yeah. Fair enough. So it's like we can get one, but... More side men tries to post three a week. Yeah, that's probably why I, you probably feel like I don't see as many because obviously you only post once a week on the main channel. And you can only grab a yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Banging. Well, you know, you're still killing it. I mean, views are still just, you know. As oh as yeah. Ever, right. I feel like I feel like we're just in all in a good place of it's all just kind of coasting along right now yeah. and doing well. I, I'm looking forward to though the next like wave. Yeah. I feel like every now and then we do a video or two that everyone gasses up yeah like the first time you know we did tinder yeah and that instantly made we our channel is like this like the views and everything's like this and then we do one video and it goes high and yeah. then levels out high, like higher than it was but it's hard to predict what they are isn't it as, it, as you know or those who don't know on youtube whenever you try and do something it seems to not work yeah and you, you think it's not not going to do very well and it smashes it so it's really hard to predict that's always the worst feeling on youtube you know like we all know videos flop but when you really try hard on certain videos and you're like, this is of anger. When yeah. it flops, it hurts worse. Oh, yeah. 100%. It hurts way worse. Um, well, speaking of smashing it. Yeah. Vidal. Yeah. What, what were you about to say? <laughs> Something naughty. <laughs> uh, Vidal had a fight the other day. Yep. And he won. He won, man. Smashed it. Um, Lost 10 grand, kind of. So I don't know about this. Because the bet that he has with JJ that's on camera yeah. says... If Vidal gets the knockout, JJ owes him 10 grand. If he doesn't, he owes JJ 10 grand. Yep. He didn't get the knockout, but then at the, in the interview afterwards, he says, ah, oh, you get to keep your 10 grand. I think it's because that they had that bet. Then JJ did an Instagram story just before the fight saying, if you get a knockout, I'll give you 10 grand. So maybe Vidal forgot about the first one and just saw, saw the new one. But I said the same to JJ. He was like, oh, I just made 10 grand. And I was like, how? Because your, your bet on Instagram was, you know. Yeah. But then, yeah, he said, no, no, no. Vidal said yeah, like that. Vidal Riley misses out on 10 grand bonus. No, it was a bet. It was, was a it? bet. So it was an exchange. Yeah. So but obviously, yeah, he, he looked really good. Um, he's been out for t ages, hasn't he? He's, he's had a back injury. What is it, a back injury? It's a, a, an injury I know he's had. Yeah. Um, so obviously that's why he's not been fighting yet. So he's, you know, I've, you know it might take him a little bit of time to, you know, start laying man down. The, the other guy as well, experienced, 20, 20 wins still. 13 losses apparently but still 20 wins um and yeah he looked good great great to see him on the card as well big I, th I think the biggest maybe for me the biggest event so far i know he's fought on the was it the pacquiao on the card i know he's fought over in dubai and stuff which are big events in themselves but i feel like sky sports in the uk on pay-per-view yeah. for the uk that's big isn't it yeah kelbrook amir khan great fight so yeah smashed it to get on that card and then obviously perform well and win the, win the fight yeah i mean he did sick very proud of him everything like that but if he could have got that knockout, it would have been a yeah. big statement. Yeah. And it, I think it's like his career kind of carries on just progressing. Yeah. I feel like if he gets the knockout, it skips a step or two. Yeah, it's true. But at least he's, he's still got massive following still. So like, yeah, he'll still, he'll still get that chance to prove himself again, you know. And it's, it's still a win. Like, it's not like it's... Did you watch it? it we, we were backstage, yeah. So before the Nottingham show, we got to, we got to, we got to watch it. Did you, have the, did you hear the commentary? A bit, a bit. Every Look. 10 seconds, Vidal Riley obviously has a oh, great, I didn't like that. huge following online and his social presence. Yeah. Bro, focus on his boxing. Focus on his boxing. Um, he, 
like obviously Vidal had has had a lot of success because of you know he trained JJ for the fight. JJ's fights were so big, so he's he's you know he's created a, a natural big following because of that, and then in fair play to him. But he was a boxer anyway. He was always going to yeah. be able to get this far. Maybe you know the YouTube side of it helped him a bit to get his name out there to get maybe like a, you know a deal with boxer and Sky Sports. But also fundamentally, he was still a very sick boxer. Like the, I think the, all this did was cut out the first. 10 fights that he would have had to do to get a name for himself. Perhaps, yeah, exactly. That's it. Yeah. And he would have won those 10 fights, yeah, got yeah. a name for himself, started boxing. This just kind of... Yeah, in fact, I think in his eyes, I'm not saying, obviously, he's very appreciative of JJ and what he's done for him and his involvement in the fights, but like, that was a great shot there. Yeah. And, and to be fair, it wasn't like he wasn't doing enough to knock the guy out. You know what I'm saying? He, like, the guy just didn't get knocked out. Guy, yeah. You know, he didn't batter him at the end of the day. Um, but what I'm trying to say is, yeah, take nothing away from the the help he's had with JJ but he would have maybe see, he would have maybe got that got, I'm, trying, I'm, trying, I'm trying to say uh, yeah you can turn it off now he would have got to this point anyway just not as quick <sighs> yeah but I'm saying he might he might have seen the JJ stuff as a hindrance to his career as a boxer oh uh, I mean yeah because I know he kept saying I, I think it's the, I think the thing is though he could literally be at this same point as he is now with less followers but at the same point, if he hadn't ever trained JJ, because he would have he wouldn't have taken two years or whatever, or however long, multiple yeah. years to train JJ, taking time away, he could have had a fight every time. Yeah, and he would be at this point now. Where yeah, he'd be on the undercard. Yeah, yeah, that's, he wouldn't yeah. have the same following. Mm. But I mean, ultimately, that's just made, meant he doesn't have to have as many fights. Yeah, but he could have done more fights and been at the same. It's yeah, swings and roundabouts. Swings and roundabouts for sure. What does that mean, by the way? I don't know. I just I don't know why. I know what it entails. Yeah. But what does it actually mean? I don't know. Swings and roundabouts. What's, what like, what what's the origin of it? Yeah, I mean swing, swings and roundabouts. Swing, you go up and down. And roundabouts, you go around in circles. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Right. So you're not you're not going anywhere. But they're both different appliances. Yeah, I guess so. Its origin is from the fairground. For whatever reason, the fairground owner may be losing money on the swings, but gaining. Uh, oh. Okay, right. That's not what I thought That's at all. That's not what I thought either, you know. So, yeah, he's, he's making money, losing money on the, on the swings, but gaining it on the roundabouts. But, yeah, so I guess that's why it means that. It means what it says. Yeah. I'm going to use that. I'm going to use though. that. I'm going to say swings and roundabouts. I'm, yeah, I'm going to say swings and roundabouts. They go, yeah, and I go, you don't know what that means. Yeah. You don't know why that, well, you don't know where that came from. No. I go, yeah, like swings and roundabouts. It's, you know, it's a saying. No, you're, it's fairgrounds, mate. What's the, what was that word you typed in? Etymology. etymology. The etymology, I knew that word. <laughs> I'm never using that word again in my life. Neither am I. Um, <laughs> But yeah, no, I think, uh, yeah, he smashed it with JJ and uh, now it's time for him to shine. If JJ fights again... Well, thing, I don't know. Does he train him? Does he train him? I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, shout out to Vidal. You're killing it. Um, smashed it. Yeah. I'm a gutted though because I was busy Saturday daytime. Yeah, yeah. And then I got offered to go and I kind of half said yes thinking, oh yeah, like, I'll, I'll go. Mm. Realized it was a Manchester. Right, yeah. Can't go. Yeah. So I ended yeah. up yeah, not being able to. Um, and again, then, yeah, the main fight... Amir Khan, Kelbrook. It was a good fight. Yeah, I was racing back for that one. So I was um, coming back from JD's show. That's why I didn't go to Fidel Street. That was in Nottingham. But um, yeah, got got it, watched it. And yeah, I, I, we were chatting in the chat. Who, who do you want to win? I, I, I like I mean, Kelbrook. I've always kind of been a fan of him. My friend's a big fan of him as well. I said Khan, but honestly, I just <laughs> yeah, yeah. didn't really care. <laughs> Calvert looked so good, didn't he? He did really. He looked like a machine. Like yeah. he, he didn't look like he was ever, ever in any danger. No. And he didn't get tired. He's unreal. Fair play to Calvert, man. Um, unstoppable, you could say. You, you could. Um, obviously, this. we don't have long till Deji's fight. Yes, oh man, Deji's got really a fight excited. soon. Yeah, the fifth of March. Fifth of March. Pay per views out now. Yes. To sell it six pound ninety nine. Yeah, way way cheaper yeah. than normal. First of all, nice because sexy number. And number two, that's a really great price. Shout out to them for making it that price. I'll watch. I'll be watching it. I'll be tuned in. So will I. Yeah. Well, I'll be there. Yeah. I don't know if I'm. Go- I don't know if I'll be there. I'd like to go. You might not want me to go. <laughs> he specifically banned you from the yeah, event. Yeah. Sorry, mate. Right, sorry, Randy. You can't go. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. I. Right. I would. Yeah. I think. Well, we've, I spoke to him. He's really yeah, nice. Then. I think he's. Now, obviously, I wanted to win. He did a video with Beta Squad. He was on Beta Squad's video. That's sick. I'm not going to lie. I was a little bit upset that it was a Mafia video. I felt like, you Have know... Have you got ties? You get... <laughs> huh? Have you got ties in the Mafia? <laughs> no. As in, like, you get Deji in a video. Oh, sorry. You make it around him. Yeah, because their last video was obviously so high effort. Mafia is like... I what? feel like their Mafia is like our hide and seek. Yeah. It's okay, yeah. their... 
We need a video this week. Uh, yeah. What, <laughs> Lesty what, Mafia. What, what was, was the one before Lesty that? Then? It was a prank in public where they had to basically have an earpiece in in a shop and work there. Maybe Deji was like, I want something simple because I'm kind of training. It makes sense. Yeah. I mean, it was. St- I actually watched the video. It's, it it's good... quite long. It's like 25 minutes or something like that. Nice. Um, and it was actually a really good idea. Mm. I really enjoyed it. Bang it. Um, yeah. I, I don't know. I'm interested to see the next video because obviously Better Squad are now back. Yeah. I want to see. How long they do it? Yeah. I mean, I don't know why they would stop, but I want to see where yeah. they go from this. I feel like they wouldn't have risked coming back if it wasn't going to be consistent, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like they would have all said like, guys, we can't do this again. Yeah. So if we're going to do it, we have to do it. So I think they'll, they'll probably stay the test of time now. I'm Alex tweeted, didn't he? Saying, oh, you guys are back too? Was that just a troll? That was a troll. Okay. Yeah. So for those watching who thought Evo was coming back too, sorry to break it to you. They're not. <laughs> you know. But I feel like they film videos all together anyway still. But maybe not as like strictly, maybe not the as... E-boys. Yeah, I feel like they individually do t- videos together. Like yeah, George and... Th- that's, that's easier, isn't it? Like if the sidemen were to just go, okay, yeah. I'm going to film with Ethan separately and then Vic separately yeah. and Josh separately, it'd be a lot easier. Especially, I think a lot, they do a lot of reaction stuff, don't they, together? Yeah. And they're able to film one video now and then in person and stuff. Yeah, whereas the E-boys were trying to... Did you see they, was a lot they made a What's Good um, Gingerbread set? No. So when I think I'm Alex did a video with Will Wisp. And you would try it. And who was the other one? James? Yeah, oh, no, Memeless. Yeah. Oh, no, James Marriott was the only one who wasn't there. Yeah, James Marriott yeah. wasn't there, no. Yeah, uh, and they FaceTimed me because they made a What's Good set. Mad. Yeah. Can we pull see, that up? See if you can pull that up. Yeah, it's actually... Uh, they was like rate out of 10. I was like, you know what? Yeah, it, will, it, will it was actually really good. Uh, I'm Alex. I'm Alex. Two L's. Two X's. Are they like memeing us? What's <laughs> I'm really confused. No, I thought that, but... Oh, because Jean was there. That makes sense. So then. they made it. Okay. Also, it's, it's towards the end. But I feel like. Here you go. Here you go. That's perfectly it. That's me on the FaceTime. Look, look at that. I made it. So it'll be just before this, I think. You just ended the call. Oh, yeah. That's me I saying that's so this. good. Obviously, for those listening on audio right now, what you're doing, go on youtube.com slash what's good podcast. Google searches. Are they going to show it? you got to go back. He'll have, he's just showing you it. Yeah. You go need back, to go, go way back. further back than this. Do they show it at the end or is it like here? Oh, there is a reveal at the end as well. After the FaceTime? Yeah, there is a reveal at the end. Okay. So after this. <laughs> oh, after this. You've got, you, you, you've got a um, blonde bit. There we go. There we go. There. Oh, my God. Right. Go back again. It's like a wide shot. But, uh, you know, for gingerbread, decent. Look at that. Decent. Wait, pause it on it. Uh, d- decent. <laughs> I mean, it is decent. <laughs> you got your blonde hair. I'm there. You've got blue in the background, white, type, you know, Christmassy trees. I, I, I respect it. It's a, it's, yeah. For gingerbread as well. It's, yeah. It's also will it need. It's not like it's, you know, um, Marjorie. Kane Sire on the Great the Yeah, Great Bake Off. Break Off. Break Off. Break off. <laughs> <laughs> well, break a piece of uh, gingerbread off then. <laughs> they did get us the uh, the wrong way around though. We all sat the other way yeah, around. Yeah, guys. Yeah. It's not canonly correct. <laughs> it's not what? When you watch Star Wars, is it correct canonically? Canonically. <laughs> you know is, it, is it canon? What? Is it in the main series films or is it in like a, 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 a you know a spin-off that they don't count canonically? Or is it Canonic. canonically? <laughs> yeah. Swings around about. Swings around about, mate. <laughs> yeah. So, so, you know. uh, right, pull up some weird facts. It's getting boring now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I've actually run out of topics now. Yeah, I was going to say, like, please, please don't click off, guys. You, usually they like watching the podcast with me and you in because we were so weird and we're not, we're not even being weird. We've been normal. It's so boring. <laughs> Did you know a jellyfish can live forever? <laughs> yes, you told me that last time. <laughs> right, top 10 facts about snakes. Right, snakes smell with their tongues. Hold no. on, hold on. Wait, tick- wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah. Say that again. Can snails, can what? snakes... No one said snails. What did I say? <laughs> Tongues. Tongue. Tongue. It's uh, not a utensil. I know it's not. You say tongue. Well, so what's the kitchen utensil? Tongue. What's that? Tongue. <laughs> You're saying the same thing? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, red, read, same word. Same spelling for that word. Yeah, but th- it's tongue. 
and Tong. Nah, in, in the north, mate, or in the Midlands, we say Tong. Tong. It's just Tong. Pete Tong. Snake Tong. Okay. Oh, barbecue, pass the meat? Yeah, pass me the Tong. Anyway, TikTok now. Right, right. Did you know, Simon, a yeah. weird fact I've got? What is it? Snakes smell with their tongues. Can we choose a different one where he doesn't have to say the word tongue? <laughs> How does it even make sense either? Because, like, you know, is that true or not? Because they have got nose holes. Look, they've got a nose hole. That doesn't mean they smell through it. No, but, like, right. Do they just mean taste? No. It, right, right. If your nose That's was, why it's a smell. If your nose was blocked yeah. and you licked the candle, I reckon you'd be able to smell it. Because your, no, you your, your taste would pick up that smell. No. Well, I mean, shit would taste gross then. How come shit tastes gross then? I haven't tried <laughs> How come... How come shit tastes gross? I haven't tried it, but I imagine it would do. You know, I imagine it would uh, taste like shit. These are way too long. Just type in weirdest, just weird facts. Weirdest facts. Weird facts. I'm going to say, did you know giraffes sleep upside down in Australia? <laughs> <laughs> you can't just say it. Oh, my God. Yeah, go, click that one. Just click that one there. Look, 65... Yeah, here we go. Right. Okay, I'm gonna read. I'm gonna tell you a fact. Yeah, I'm not even looking at you. Okay. Look at the screen. There's a company that turn dead bodies into ocean reef. Uh. That's really gross, isn't it? What is ocean reef? That. Uh. uh that's gross. Yeah. So you could be, you know, swimming past, thinking, "Oh, I'm just snorkeling." Yeah. It's Clive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could, you could take a bite out of it. Like, look, mum, I'm eating. Why would you bite ocean reef? Because it's like could be vegetables. Like, look, mum, I'm eating reef. And she's like, no, 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 you're eating Keith. There <laughs> 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 you go. Dolphins sleep with one eye open. Sleep with one eye open. Like that bloke on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Vacuum cleaners were originally horse drawn. That's kind of boring. What does horse drawn mean? The horse. It doesn't mean a horse has drawn it <laughs> with a pencil. It means what does it mean, like a horse-drawn carriage. What is that? Like it's it's horses tied tied to it effectively. That right. Pull it. So the only way to to clean your living room is by tying <laughs> your vacuum to I a fucking think... horse that shits on the floor and is mucky. You're gonna make you know. I don't think it was made. For... Well, tw- did you know, Simon? Yeah. For twenty years, a cat served as mayor of an Alaskan town. I didn't. That's when you know America's gone too far. Like <laughs> America's so far done that they don't even have to fucking run the country. Wait, put, put wasn't Alaska there. the one that had Sarah Palin? Yeah. Yeah. Same thing. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> she was the mayor of, of cats. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. Nah. A woman who lost her wedding ring found it sixteen year sixteen years later on a carrot in her garden. I um, lost my wedding ring multiple times to the fact that I didn't wear it anymore because I lost it so much. Lost it in an Uber, got it back. Lost it in the dustbin outside, got it back. More times. So How did you get this back? Uh, I don't know. I called the Uber and I said, I'll give you £10 if you, drink, if you drive it back. And he, he drove it back. The dustbin one, we looked everywhere in the entire house, everywhere. And Laura was like, do you, do you think you could have lost it by putting something into the dustbin? And I thought, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it was recycling, so I didn't have to fish around, you know. Shit. Yeah. I just had to fish around. Did you know what? that the inventor of Pringles unfortunately died? Oh, bless him. But he's now buried in a can of Pringles. That's lit. What? Buried in a can of Pringles? Yeah. Or his ashes are in a... Fr- Frederick Bauer developed uh, the idea. And then he wanted to take it to his grave, literally. Must have been a very so short man. Died at 89. <laughs> <laughs> to fit inside a Pringle can. <laughs> Surely it means ashes, mate. I don't know. Can we can we see? Or did they, did they make a big ass Pringles kind of like? No, it's just below. There it says. Is he? Did they? Yeah. Did they build a huge ass Pringles Pringles can? Or that's the only explanation. Otherwise, they got no. Because it could be. Yeah, it's either ashes. I'd suggest it was ashes. Maybe he got put into ashes, then they buried the Pringles tub with their gravestone head. What would you do with your ashes? Well, I'd be dead, so I had no choice. No, but like you can leave a thing. Oh, in a will, you. right? Yeah, like um, you say, like oh, I want to be, you know. I would say to Laura, if there's any inclination that Pokemon is going to get brought into real life, whether it's like you know yeah. VR, 3D, I'd say feed it to a Growlithe. Is that is that, is that sick? Is that gross? A little bit, right? Okay, you're kind of no, forcing no, 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 a Growlithe no, no, no. to eat a human. No. Right. What I'd say, I'd say first of all, make a ring out of it. Okay. Wear it. 
Okay. Run your neck or run? Not not. Sorry, not run. Not run your. <laughs> you know when you do necklace yeah. with it on, or give it to one of our kids, or you know I'd say you know what, I'll do what you want. Sure, you should, you, the your ashes now. You know whatever you want to do with it, throw them away, wash them down the toilet, set it into fireworks. Set it into fireworks. I don't like fireworks. I say maybe not. That Wouldn't one. that be really sick? Yeah. Like not good sick. Like these are my ashes. Okay. Blow them up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every surrounding area now just has a bit of Simon. K- killing what me if again. someone's what if someone's gazing up and their mouth's open? Yeah, they're having now I'm inside them. In their mouth, yeah. Have a memorial, cuddly toy made. That's gross. I don't want to, I don't want my daughter to play with my ashes. You just said you're gonna put them in a ring that they can wear. Yeah, you wear it, you don't play with it. Like you don't cuddle it and go, Oh look at this cute rabbit. Actually, it's your dad. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be horrible, you know? I don't want that. Send them to the moon, love that. Actually, you know what? Send my, ma- send my ashes cool. to Mars. I've That's always wanted to go cool. to Mars, like I've said. I don't know. I think I'd want. I'd figure out who my arch nemesis was, and then I'd get someone <laughs> to run up and just <laughs> in their face. You know, I've changed my mind. Make it into a smoke bomb. So run up to someone, throw it on the floor, and disappear. <laughs> Why? Cool. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. If you if you did that, and yeah, you blew out the, your arch nemesis. Yeah. Then, firstly, you're causing them. Pain. An inconvenience. <laughs> Secondly, they probably inhale a bit. Yeah. Ooh. And then, you know, yeah. I'm inside my nemesis. Nice. Yeah. You can just get to know him. What? <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Read me another one. I don't want to look. Okay. Uh, now nah, we all know that one. Keep going. Um. Ah. Uh-huh. He's all rubbish now. Yeah, these are. Uh, the Terminator mm. sold for one dollar. Wow. Yeah. Must have been shit then. <laughs> the franchise took in over one point four billion dollars, but before he became famous, he sold it for a dollar. Fair. That's all um, I can take from it. I have you ever seen the film Meet the Fuckers? Yes. Ben Stiller. Yeah. I watched it the other day. So good. It's cool. so good. But did you know that they also made Meet the Parents? Yes. I've seen that. Yeah. Did you also... No, no, sorry. Meet the parents first, then meet the fuckers, then little fuckers. Yeah, I never watched that. But guess this. Guess which film made the most money? Little fuckers. I think it was. <laughs> I think it was. In the box office, you know, uh, meet the parents made the worst. So you know how they always say why do they do sequels or stuff? Why do they do trilogies? It's because clearly people want to see the new ones. You know, maybe, maybe they're not as good in, you know, critically acclaimed sense. I think people just get, like, intrigued. Yeah. What's happening? What's happening? In yeah, two? like even if I think that one's, if I've seen it yeah. and I liked it, I know the next one's not going to be good. But three hundred and ten yeah. million dollars. Yeah, and now type in uh, obviously meet meet the fuckers, um, box office. Damn. You'll see that. I think that made about two hundred mil. Oh, 500 mil. So you're already wrong. I was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> but no, 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 no. Sorry. Now, now type in meet the parents. Uh, box office. Yeah, I think meet the parents. Yeah. So little fuckers made more than meet the parents. Um, and then yeah, meet the fuckers made more. Meet the parents through. Oh, am I wrong again? Yeah, I think so. So little fuckers sold the worst. But 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 but, 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 but hold on. Yeah yeah. Little but for a third one, ten years later, not half bad, eh? <laughs> not half bad, eh? 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 Someone. <laughs> this, this whole point. This whole point. <laughs> You've just been talking about this film for five ten minutes, and none of it mattered because it was all wrong. The, 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 what I meant was, like, for a third series film that no one likes, it still did bits in the box office. That's why they made it. Um, have you seen Zoolander? Yes. I've never seen that. I'm going to watch it tonight. You've never seen it? No, I'm going to watch it tonight. Oh, my God. It's really good. Re- have you seen Zoolander 2? No. Okay. I'm excited to watch Zoolander. I only got 60 million dollars. Now it's in Zoolander 2 box office. <laughs> no. I bet you. Did you know Zoolander 2 sold more? Oh, shit. It didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Just stop. Just stop. Did you know? <laughs> oh, no. You know what? Ben Stiller, go. He's going to go down as one of the greatest of all time. I don't think he is. What? Secret Life Ultimate. Look at that. Dodgeball. Meet the parents. Starsky and Hutch. Zoolander. Tropic Thunder. Ben Stiller. Go, mate. I love you so much. I just don't think he is going to. Blades of Glory. That's a great film. Wait, go back. Did you... Wait, what films did you just name here? I named Starsky and Hutch, what, Secret Life of Walter Mitty, Traffic Thunder, Dodgeball. I just don't think... I don't think he has that... 
presence. How to about... go down as one of the greats. Oh, sorry. Not necessarily the greatest like actor of all time in terms of No, no, no. Like not I'm not comparing him to say Leonardo, Leonardo, Leonardo yeah. yeah, but I'm saying like in terms of like a wedding crashers. D okay. Him that? or Will Ferrell. It's close. Well, I'll, I'll give it Will Ferrell. But it's very close. Damn. It's very close. It, what's his name? Um, ben Stiller is so good on the on extras. We've seen extras. Ricky Gervais. I watched a little bit. Got a bit bored. So good, man. Extras is great. Ricky I appreciate Gervais it. Not, um, not, in the, not in the museum, Simon. Not at the museum. Good film. What a great film. I ain't gonna, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not, it's not a film that if someone hasn't seen it, I'd... What? I wouldn't do that. There are certain films that, you know, like, obviously I've got, you know, a few nieces, nephews, and etc. So I've seen a lot of kids' films in my, in my time. Most kids' films, I'm sat there in the front room, living room, thinking, oh, not this, man, not this. When that was on, you know, I was, I was enjoying Banger. myself. Yeah, I was like, you know, this is a great film to watch with kids and yourself. It's an equal medium. No, it's not weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some films, like, too, too kiddy. You don't have to turn this crap off. Sometimes they meet in the middle. Frozen is one great Haven't film. Haven't seen it. Oh, you're missing out. I know. Um, but, went, you know. went on pitch side today. Yeah, how was yeah. it? That's coming out tomorrow. So Theo's not in it? No. Because Theo messaged me today and he yeah. said uh, he is stuck in Switzerland or wherever they are. Yeah. I think he was, yeah, it was me, Chris, MD and Reeve. So obviously, I'm not sure if that's a spoiler, but yeah. Who cares? Who cares? Watch yeah. it. It's going to be sick anyway. Um, <laughs> check out my quiz. Yeah. See how I did. Uh, yeah, it was really good. I had a lot of fun. Um, yeah, Theo got stuck. I think it was a last minute to bring Chris in. So um, thanks, Chris, for doing it on behalf of Reeve. Damn. You know who else messaged me? Your mum. She did, yeah. Nice. That wasn't who I was going to say there. Who? Logan Paul. Oh, shit. Yeah. He, so, uh, do you want to join the uh, night shift? What? Do you want to join on Impulsive? No. He yeah. didn't say that. If, but if he if he, you if, he, if, he's da- if he wants me to join Impulsive and, and leave this shit show, yeah, I'm down. I was going to say, any day <laughs> if you said, look, bro, yo, bro, I've got a proposition for you, man. Um, I would love to have you on Impulsive, but you have to leave what's good. I'd say, bro, what happened to your voice? <laughs> Like, bro, I'm outside your flat right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here already. Um, what, how did he message you? Uh, Insta. Mm. Used to follow me. Uh, unfollowed me. You know, here's what it is. Because of the fight? It's fine. Because of K- KSI's fight? Nope. All oh, right. It's fine. Anyway, yeah. Uh, did my football video where I've obviously promoted oh, Prime. Oh, yeah. Tagged him in it. Yeah. Him, JJ, and Prime. And he sent me a voice note and he said, oh, like, I'm really thankful for the promotion you're doing for the brand. Yeah. Like, Love it. Thank you so much. That's sick. Yeah. Shout I rated it. Man. Yeah. You know, you know what? Like Prime actually legitimately is very good. Yeah. Like when it, when they did first of the announcement, I'm not going to lie. I was kind of like, well, I was shocked mainly because they, the big announcement, it made, it made all the sense that it was going to be an NFT or something else. I was not expecting it to be a drink. So I was like a drink. Yeah. But we had it. I had it at JJ's box first and I did the video and I was like, obviously at the box, I was like, yeah, that's nice. Decent drink. But when I got delivered some and I was drinking it more and more in, in I was like, this is a banging drink. Yeah. I like, I, I drink this, I'd rather drink this than any like, you know, Coke Zero or whatever. Before anyone points out, we don't have any Prime here. Yeah. So I've been forced to drink this instead. Listen, shout out to Drink Prime on Instagram. Shout out to JJ and Logan. Look, why don't we just get a fridge, right? A mini fridge of just Prime. We'll put it here for free, yeah? Just hook the podcast up because uh, i'm not bringing my own and you're not bringing no i own. am bringing my own that's, uh, my, that's <laughs> mine yeah exactly and i'm just saying i've promoted prime a lot you have like i did the, the review yeah in which i was definitely not biased but i said it all tasted great mm-hmm. uh did the crossbar challenge yeah i have an emote in my twitch chat yep of every single flavor and that gets used and in all the twitch chats it does so, uh, so someone in mine use it exactly and i start my streams off by saying okay guys i'm gonna have a prime yeah what flavor do i have and people vote and I'll get whichever one gets spammed the most. Yeah. I'm just saying. I am really excited for Prime. Just just to have one again. Yeah. You, you have them like every day. I know. I've ran, <laughs> I've ran, I've ran out. I've run out. I drank too many. I drank too many. Yeah. I no, didn't know I'm, you weren't supposed to have like necessarily too much. I mean, I have I have like, I, I just have one a stream really or one a day. I would have one a stream until my one ran out. Then I'd have another one. <laughs> so I, you could say that. So uh, you have like six a stream. Yep. Oh my God. Does it not make you need to pee a lot? Yep. Because it, it, I, I'm not saying this just because it's a hydration no, drink. It actually does hydrate me so much that I pee a lot. Uh, yeah, but it's the same as water. You wouldn't drink that, that much water. So, you just, you know, who knew drinking liquid makes you piss? I know. 
crazy. Next, next time on What's Good Podcast. <laughs> I don't know what's next. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but yo, sh- subscribe to the channel. Shout out to all you lot who watch it. Love you all. We're gonna start. You're gonna start seeing us on TikTok more. Hopefully, which is good. Um, Keep letting you know. us know guests as well that you want to see on here. Yeah, and yeah. don't make them outrageous. Don't don't say, "Oh, get Logan Paul on," because yeah. it ain't gonna happen. No, as you guys do. Yeah, as you guys know that the podcast has, n- has never been like an inter- interview format. We just like to have fun and chat with mates. That's why you see certain people come on again because it's just nice to have the vibe. Like with Talia them on. for the sixteenth time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm getting tired of her. Um, it's a joke, by the way. <laughs> Don't be mad at me, please. Uh, no, yeah, but yeah, sometimes we like, like, like to have chats with people. Um, what I did really enjoy, uh, Street Panel, that was a sick one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you know anyone else like that, yeah, um, who almost died, I guess, <laughs> that'd be interesting to talk to. <laughs> that sounds so... It does sound really bad, but... I'll if you've <laughs> almost died, there's a seat beyond the podcast. <laughs> But no, no he but was people a great with guy. a really interesting story that you think we would love to hear. Yeah, and someone who can tell it well because he told the story so well. Yeah, I don't want to, you know, if you've like, you know, fallen over, I don't want to hear you. What well, if they can tell it really well? Then yeah, <laughs> if, you, if you've fallen over and you can tell the story that you how you've fallen over really well, there's a seat for you on the podcast. Yeah, let us know in the comments down below or tag us on Insta or whatever. Mm-hmm. I mean, check Twitter. He does. Tag him on Twitter. I check Twitter. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. See you guys next time. Oh, you know what? Before we go. Wordle, man, starting to piss me off. Have you done yours today? Yeah. I did mine today. Yeah. Um, four. We'll have to try and remember on, on Mondays to do it on here. Should we do it together? Yeah. yeah. Together or separately? Together. What if there's a guest? Yeah, maybe we won't do it if there's a guest here. Fuck them. We do it anyway. Yeah. If they haven't done it, they can join us. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. See you next week, guys. Thanks so much. And peace. Peace. <laughs>